Hello, this is Patrick from PS Bikebook. On your long adventures on gravel or for riding, where not even yourself will not work, it might be a problem if things break. Some things you need to be able to fix yourself on the side of the road. One of these things is the clutch or brake handle. Today we're going to talk about the clutch handle. As you see, the handle have a pair of small gaps here. This is to let the handle break on this part and not in here or even destroy your bike if you fall. This happened to me this summer out on a gravel riding tour. I took a small fall, broke the handle. I always bring a pair of extra handles on my trips. One for brake, one for, for the clutch. Because um, it's easy to fix. It takes 10 minutes with the simple tools to change this on the trip. But without it, you might damage your fingers on these sharp edges. And uh, it also is a bit hard to ride for several days with a uh, half a handle. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Come on. As you see here, you have sharp edges here. And when I put my hand over, my little finger actually catches these edges and it's a bit painful. Uh, you might damage yourself. And uh, especially if you fall again, this is not a good thing to have. So you need to change it. The tools I'm gonna use is two spanners 70 millimeter, one 8 millimeter spanner, also Torx 25, 30, 40, a new handle of course, and VD40. The first thing we need to remove is the mirror. And this is why you need two of this number 17, because it's have a special kind of socket here. So what you do, do is you lock the lower one and you loosen the upper one you can remove the bottom one after that you remove this bolt here just to remove the protector and remove this rubber protector and I Unscrew that one. Loosen stuff. Okay. I'm going down. You need to loosen the clutch. And you're doing this by removing a small clip in here. A plastic clip. And uh, it's not hard. Just be a bit careful with it. So not breaking it with force. Don't use any tools for this. This is how the clip look. Don't lose it. It's supposed to be there and you just push up the clutch and loosen the wire loosen the two bolts that was holding the mirror um, some cables below so if you pull this too tight you might pinch those cable and break them you don't want that there we go let's see there we go and if you just look below here, there's the cables that you have to protect. And now you have this free, you can turn it. And here is the wire that you will need to lose. Now what you do is that you loosen the handle. And you simply do this by putting the torque in top and holding the bolt below with the spanner and you just and like always put things together now with the handle loose you can do this turn it and you can pull it out you see the wire holding it just pull it in that direction and it's loose take your new, new handle just push it on there up 
over and in. Now you have to just reapply everything. Step, you go over here, make sure you don't pinch the cable, you pull it, put it soft down, you put this over, before you tighten the screws hard, just make sure that you get the right angle for driving, uh, at the moment I have everything loose, I'm just gonna reapply all the part, reassemble it, and then we pull everything, before you Putting the clutch together, make sure this one is in here, this one is loose, but in the hole. Take this one, and you see it's loose now, we're gonna go down, and we're gonna fix that. The, the first thing you do is check, check that you haven't lost or destroyed your clip, because then you kind of screwed. Um, you can use this without the clip for a short while or with some tape or something but clip holding the wire secured so what you do is you take the clutch up taking the wire over and you're putting in the wire there and then you take the clip and put it from behind there you go, clip in, clutch on, adjust on this one, this one, like security, and adjust by screwing this force and back, and I get a good slack. In your manual you will have the exact slack that you should have, but I like to have it quite short. After that, just tighten up. You want to find a good angle for the handle. I like to have my fingers like I put can lie down like that. But don't want it like this because it's get hard when I'm sitting. And I don't want them have it like this because then it gets hard when I'm standing. So I want to basic I want to be able to lay down my hands in a sitting position, my elbows out, and hold the grip. After that just make sure this is positioned correctly you're not pinching the cables below like in the sides and then you have to tighten up i have a habit always when i'm working with aluminium i spray some vd40 on it especially if i'm gonna put two parts together with the screw and one is aluminium. I take this one, just again, put it down there. Don't pull this too tight. It uh, it's attached to plastic here, so you might destroy it if you pull this too tight. You take this part and this, and you need two spanners. And what you do is, you take this one, put it in, and pull it down the hole. You put some pressure on all the time. You put pressure at the same time as you're screwing. And when you all the way down with this, and this one is as far as you can screw with your hands, you take the first banner and lock the bottom nut in a position and take the other one and you just pull this you need to hold this one and while you take in this one's position otherwise this one st will start to move and as you have plastic here you will break the plastic with the force you put on the 
top screw. Uh, thanks for watching my movie. Uh, it took 10 minutes to change this handle uh, without filming, of course. With all the camera equipment, take more time. Um, remember to sign on my YouTube channel for more uh, mechanic movies, gravel riding. But also, we'll start the enduro section. I bought the Honda 250 and I will start to ride enduro now and uh, video blog about it. So, see you on the road.